Hi everyone, this is Asbo Dave. So I'm going to show you how to get homebrew on your 3DS. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to simulgithub.io slash ninjahacks2 to start off with. Then you want to go to uh, your system settings and see what version you have. Since I already put in my version, all you do is click... Uh, new old and then update every time you click this it changes I believe well it should change well no, it won't change on the first one because you didn't go on to the second one anyways so let's get out of here now the game you're gonna need is cubic ninja because I believe that's the main one that works or that's going to work so let's get out of here now in order to reset your ninja hacks data you want to press uh, LRXY I believe so I am gonna do that really quick alright I had to pause it there because I am holding my phone at the same time if it doesn't work, what you have to do is you press and hold it for like two seconds. Alright, click yes. Press A. Press yes. Press A. Okay, what you want to do is you, you want to go to create. QR code. And then all you want to do is uh, do scan. And then you want to be able to scan it, which could take a little while. Okay, so now that it froze like that, it didn't really freeze. What you had to do is you press B, and then you click on Next, and you scan it again. What I like to do is hold it down and then bring it up. There we go. Alright. As soon as you hear the sound, that means it works. So just do that until you did all 16, and I'll be right back. Alright, now that you're on your last code... The next step, we're going to have to download some files. Back it up some. There we go. So now all 16 are done. What we are wanting to do is. Uh, we are going to want to get. The homebrew starter kit. Right there. Click on that. That'll download. What you want to do is you want to take your, you want to shut down your DS. Well, you could. Okay, you do this. You want to take your screws off. There's gonna be a memory card like right here. Or if you have the older one, it's gonna be like right on the side. Or it should be right over here. You're gonna want to show in folder, extract to starter, open starter. What you want to do is you want to click all this, right click it, press copy. Um, let's say this is the card. Pretend, alright. Alright, let's say this is the SD card. Alright, here's your SD card. You just want to paste it. Well, you don't want to do shortcut, you want to paste the whole thing. Then you take it out, put it back in your SD card. 
If there's other files in there, that's fine. If it says to override anything, do it. So, let's get back into it. Now, I believe I already had the files in here, so that's why I'm not taking my SD card out. So as soon as you get back in here, I believe you press A, you go down to create, and you go down to QR code or edit level, let me see. It should freeze up. Yep, there it goes. All right, so that is how you know it works. Now, with, you'll have more uh, stuff than this if you do the starter thing. This is the main way to get Luma 3DS, but that is for the older systems. Well, older meaning uh, you didn't upgrade it to the newest version. It'll still work for the 2DS and new 3DS, but uh, you don't want to do the newer up, like system updates or else you can't get Lumer 3DS. Anyways, so as you can see, if you press home, it won't do anything. What you had to do is you press start and then home. So you watch start, home. Well, it just showed it. Hold on. All right, you press something. What the heck? All right. So let's go to settings. This must be a new version. I haven't messed with this one. All right. So I think all you had to do is just turn it off, and then it'll go back. I'm not too sure what's going on with this new version unless I mine is like broken or somehow but anyways you can load up files over your uh, computer if you go to that site but it, you had to press Y to do it uh, anyways thanks for watching remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys later